Hey guys, I am back from Fruitopia, as you can see, and we're taking advantage of um, the, the first weekend back home, and it's a uh, corker, as we say in Australia, corker. That means, you know, cork in a bottle, when it pops, we have a lot of um, strange sayings down under so we're taking advantage of the uh, the garden as you can see and the sunshine mmm feels really good enjoying some of the fruit mainly citrus it's citrus season uh, in winter as you know and there's a lot of it Kim is also enjoying the sun with me we're so spoilt with um, not only the garden guys but the uh, opportunity to take advantage of the of the Sun which uh, again I think that most people take advantage of <laughs> vitamin D what else Kim vitamin D and but we're out here to get our vitamin yeah even though we were on Magnetic Island only two days ago, yeah. we're still carrying the torch, literally, on our bodies. And um, I highly recommend it for, for anyone. So guy, guys, that was um, the weekend. Today is Monday, the beginning of uh, a new week in Melbourne. And we've been back only, what, four days? And we've only had one decent day. The day you just saw, when we were tanning on our lounges. And I thought, wow, what a great return back home. Couldn't have asked for more. And then all of a sudden, the following day on Sunday, all hell breaks loose. Windy, cold, wet, miserable, typical Melbourne winter weather. But even so, I decided to do some garden work, right? Like the um, jujube tree here, which I pruned. The netting I took off from the, um, um, the persimmon and gave it a slight trim. I trimmed the Jonathan apple, right? This is in the rain, whilst it's raining and freezing. I trimmed the, the brown turkey, the fig tree. This is the early variety, right? And I wanted to do the um, uh, the orange tree. See how all that has grown up over the season? That needs to be cut off. But um, the weather is crap, guys. I'm not going to be working out here with 10, 11 Celsius and uh, wind and rain. And I pruned uh, the two old figs I have, the main ones. Right? I like doing this when it's uh, warm and sunny. Not when it's cold and wet. It's not fun. And here's the other fig. So I got that done, right? But there's so much more to do, guys. There's another orange tree that needs trimming. A 15-year-old pineapple guava tree that needs to be trimmed to the level of the bungalow, right? And the removal of this plum tree, which is 20 years old. I want to get rid of it. It's freezing. Oh. Anyway, so at least we got one decent day um, back home and it was really nice. So guys, uh, we decided to get the heck out of here. Bye bye Melbourne. Thanks for nothing or thanks for one, for one nice day. That's all we got. But I was expecting at least two or three nice days, right? So that I could get all the work done. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot more that I didn't show you. Um, so we decided to leave. We're getting out of here again. Mm -hmm. Just as all the trees are starting to wake up, not all of them, but most of them, they're starting to wake up, right? This is the mulberry. So anyone here from uh, Fruitopia, well, you'll be on the Insider Club and you'll know the scoop, right? That we're leaving, which means no more videos from uh, Fruitopia for a while. I don't know how long. We'll be checking the weather. 
on the um, website and we'll go from there that'll that'll um, determine when we get home as you can see the mandarins here are almost ready and this needs trimming as well the top half of the tree needs to be removed from this 30 year old mandarin tree it's not fun guys with the wind blowing the rain I got a chance to come out here to, to film this as the rain stopped it was raining all night and it's gonna rain all afternoon today and it's gonna rain tomorrow as a matter of fact it's gonna rain every day for the next 10 days and I'm not joking check the weather forecast for Melbourne and I want to get this 20 year old apricot tree out too it doesn't bear any decent fruit anymore so there's a bit of work there's a lot of work to do but I'm not gonna do it under these conditions all right guys we'll see you from the flip side from the sunny side <laughs> and uh, everyone in Melbourne can enjoy the um, the weather here it's definitely not our cup of tea all right guys thanks for watching catch up later bye bye now